But let's uh, continue with earnings uh, as uh, action. We are now uh, uh, going to be speaking uh, with MS uh, Unikrishan, who is the Managing Director at Thermax, joining in for the fine print into the second quarter of earnings right there. Thank you for this conversation. Um, can you please start by telling us what your outlook is uh, uh, in terms of your order book uh, going forward? Uh, because uh, we were seeing uh, lower uh, PLFs in the existing uh, coal base capacity. How do you actually see the traction going ahead? Thankfully, we are not dependent upon the larger power orders. We are not in that field at all currently. So we are in captive power. We are into heating. We are into cooling. We are into water and wastewater treatment, air pollution control. Uh, the projects which are of uh, industrial nature uh, will continue to be investing in India and in the markets where we are operating globally. Uh, so I would expect the order intake to continue. Will the finalizations continue at the same rate in the next few quarters in our country with the uh, semi-final elections going on and the final election going to happen a couple of quarters down the line? Because the private investors in the country, the election results at the national level, uh, in my opinion, they should be worried about because the people who are, who are concluding orders, uh, they don't have to look forward to any favorable support from the government because most of them are consumption oriented. It's food, it's food processing, it's textiles, it's alcohol, beverages, uh, automobiles. They are not policy driven or not infra driven. So those sectors should ideally be investing but I'll be cautious to predict anything in terms of a buying behavior for a capital goods uh, for the next two, three quarters. But based on the inquiry pipeline which we are very closely monitoring and are able ability to be concluding orders in the face of even stiff competition. If orders were to get concluded in the next few quarters, I would say that uh, order booking can be retained at the similar kind of levels. But if things were to get into a, you know, investment shy behavior of the, uh, you know, capacity creators of the country, then certainly we'll have a difficulty the way we face maybe uh, six quarters back where uh, it is three digit orders incoming. But I don't think it is going to be prevailing for a longer period of time. So, because there is a positive outlook across the globe at this point of time in, in terms of consumption. So it should continue. While you say that it should continue, but I was just wondering, when you look at your order book, uh, what's the chunk of orders that you're getting uh, from uh, the international market as opposed to the domestic market? Because from what I'm uh, given to understand, the domestic market has been a little soft. Uh, how are things looking currently? I need to give a little longer answer for it. In the last uh, year... Uh, with a domestic market not giving sufficient orders, the mainstay for my company had become almost uh, international markets. In fact, there was a quarter where our entire order intake from international market was more than the domestic market. But in the beginning of, of after, say, three or four quarters back, that 40 to 50 percent international order uh, uh, segment has come down to maybe, maybe 20. I'm very happy to say that I've gone back to maybe uh, near to a, a 40 plus percentage uh, international order booking the current quarter. Now, is it a trend? 20 to 40 is a trend. Will 40 continue or will 40 become 50 going forward? In my opinion, uh, uh, it is uh, already at the peak. So if you are able to continue getting at least 30 to 40 percent of our orders coming from the international market for the next three to four quarters, I should be happy. But the traction to look at it, uh, international pipeline of inquiries is good. But international order finalizations are not at the same pace that had happened uh, one year back. So that's about the international order intake. And uh, Mr. Unikrishnan, can you just tell us uh, before you go, what are the CapEx plans you have uh, going ahead? Well, the phase two expansion program for the Dahesh chemical factory is uh, a foot and I'm expecting that expansion which will take my capacity there from 12,000 meter cube per annum to 22,000 meter cube per annum to be completed by September next year. And my other capex, uh, which is three city new factories under commissioning, uh, we are yet to be concluding our next phase of capacity addition on account of the fact that I have surplus capacity for most of the areas right now. Unless I see the traction of incoming orders at a stable level, uh, I will not be finalizing the capacity capacity creation plan. However, we may look at uh, inorganic opportunities available anywhere in the world in the markets where we want to grow fast. 
All right. As soon as uh, we know more about your inorganic growth plans, uh, we will be connecting with you, Mr. Oni Krishnan. Appreciate you joining us on this uh, edition of uh, Lunch Money, and we wish you great luck uh, going ahead into uh, the quarters to come. That stock is up on the kind of numbers that uh, Thermax has posted. A percentage point gain is what we're seeing, but the stock is clearly off the day's highs. Meanwhile, uh, in the auto pack, uh, Aisha is in focus. Aisha is in focus because they are riding high on uh, a string of new launches. Enfield.